Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Did you all survive the holidays? Um, I did, but I feel like I kind of slacked off on some of my like videos and all of that stuff because it was just craziness. So I'm finally getting back into it. I am ready for the new year. I am ready to take it on. I'm actually really excited for a lot of the goals I've set for it. Um, I feel like it's going to be a great year. So what I thought I would pop in here today and talk to you about is some holiday shopping and we're actually doing some holiday post shopping right now as we speak. So first I want to share with you some of the tips that I feel helped me get through the holidays and holiday shopping better this year and less stressed and more prepared. So what I personally found to be very helpful this year was making lists a couple months before of everyone I was going to buy presents for, everything I was going to get for them, about how much it would cost. Um, that way I could budget my money for from each paycheck for each person and get it done gradually instead of all at once. So my goal is to kind of like every year just get it a little bit more down to a science where I'm just like, got everything, I'm not stressed, I am not waiting until the day before. The only problem I could see with that is if I start too soon, because um, I was thinking next year throughout the year when there are sales kind of stocking up, but then I feel like I get like way more stuff than I need and then I want to give it to the person right away. So we'll see how that goes. So this did seem to work well though. So I bought things um, as I saw them or on the list, I would go to the specific places. I also did that too. I planned out everywhere I had to go, kind of did it strategically. So I wasn't all over the place like every single day. Um, and then I also wrapped them as I got them so that it wasn't all at once and it wasn't as overwhelming as it has been in the past. And I um, was able to like give the person their present wrapped as I got it wrapped. So it wasn't like, taking up too much space and just being like crazy. Look at my cute little Christmas tree. It's um, cheetah print themed. I love it. So by really um, just pre-planning it out, looking for some sales, I felt like I was way more prepared this year where in the past I waited till like Christmas Eve and then I'm like all stressed trying to wrap everything at once. So it did work quite a bit better. So obviously now there are a lot of sales after Christmas, um, New Year's Day sales. So we went and checked out some today, like at World Market, uh, Target, Walmart, just some of those places. So one good thing with that is if you do something like a white elephant gift, which we do with um, our family, it's a good idea to stock up on some of that stuff now for next year because you're getting it on sale. You can get some funny stuff and you're not necessarily paying full price. So for specifically World Market, um, they had the little challenge thing leading up to Christmas or Thanksgiving. So you could find um, the golden cracker in the store with their clue. I spent like four or five hours on four different days. I never found it. I was really frustrated because then you get a gift card. So it was really cute because for Christmas, my mom hid a little egg and inside of it, there was a clue that said, find the World Market cracker next to a red object. So once I found it with a couple hints, because I'm obviously not good at finding things, um, I got a $50 gift card. So it was a really cute idea that my mom did because I was like so frustrated when I couldn't find it. <laughs> um, but I went in and they had all of their Christmas stuff on sale. So I was able to get some cute ornaments, um, some cute Christmas stuff, and their furniture was 60% off. So I was looking for kind of like a coffee table sort of thing. So I actually found an end table I will show you that goes um, on the end of the couch. I put it together, so I like built it myself. I was really happy. <laughs> um, but it was a great time to get it with a gift card. You know, you have your Christmas gift cards, wait for those sales. They had a coupon on top of it. Um, so let me show you what it looks like. After I take the pizza out of the oven. Anyways, now the, the pizza is not going to burn. <laughs> So it's actually called a laptop table. So you can, it's perfect for like a little laptop to um, sit on, put your legs under, but screwed this together. And I thought it'd be good for a little end table to put drinks on. And I put some of my cute new Christmas candles on here. And I'm just like loving this little corner. So um, it was just a good time to get it. You know, if you're gonna get stuff using those gift cards and when there's these after Christmas sales, it's a good time to stock up. 
So a couple of videos that I will be doing soon to keep an eye out for. I will be doing a review on my winter FabFitFun box. Um, there was some really fun stuff in there. I have done previous videos on FabFitFun, so check those out if you're interested. Keep an eye out by subscribing. Like this video if you like it. Um, and also I got an Instant Pot, which I am calling Instapot. So I know I'm not saying it right, but it's just easier to say Instapot. So I got one. I actually cooked some white chili chicken last night in it. Um, I'm still kind of figuring it out, but I will be doing a video on that as well. So make sure to check that out and keep an eye if that interests you. And like I said earlier, I just think that with anything in life, the more you pre-plan and prepare, the easier it's going to be. So the more you make lists, plan out your plan of attack for Christmas shopping. And for me, I am going to start earlier in the year, kind of stocking up and just keeping the items in a separate place. Um, I just think it makes it so much easier and enjoyable. It's not stressful. It's not last minute. So I would recommend trying that yourself. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have a good rest of your night. Bye.